It's 11 questions about Guinness World Records recorded on location at Dog House in Victoria Gardens in Rancho Cucamonga, California, as part of the No Clue Brewery Tap Takeover. This is Trivia with Buds. What's cracking? It's your pal, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the Trivia with Buds podcast. This is the pop culture trivia show that comes out every single day, and I'm so glad you decided to check it out in your ears today. This is a fun episode that I recorded just a few nights ago at a great place called The Dog House. This is a chain of hot dog and hamburger places around California. I think they just got franchised for 500 or 5,000 locations, some crazy number. Um, so they'll be popping up across the country everywhere. Some of our favorite food to eat, it's like fast food, but it's a little bit more gourmet. They have some really fancy hot dogs and things like that. Uh, they serve beer. It's a great place. And, uh, one of my trivia locations in Rancho Cucamonga, California, No Clue Brew had a tap takeover where they had three different beers on tap available all day, uh, earlier this week. So I met uh, the pals up there that run that company, and we had some beers, we talked some Sharknado facts, and then we sat down, me and my friend Puffed, P-U-F-T, that is his nickname. I actually do not know his real name at all, now that I think of it. And uh, we did some Guinness World Record trivia from a book I bought just recently at the store Five Below for $5. It's the Guinness World Records 2018 handbook. There's lots of fun facts in there. So this was a round I did live. Oh, about a month ago, and uh, I thought that I would ask Puff these questions because he never got to play this round. So you can play along with Puff, see how many you get right out of 11, and uh, spoiler alert, he does pretty well. Let's see how you hold up against my friend Puff. Here we go. Sitting here at Victoria Gardens, an outdoor fancy time mall in Rancho Cucamonga, California, I am here at a place uh, that I love to eat at. The Dog House has some of my favorite burgers favorite hot dogs and favorite beers including tonight's tap takeover of the no clue brew i'm drinking a uh morgan you're right here morgan is one of the owners of no clue brewery what am i drinking uh tropical tropic kolsch and that is a wheatish beer it's a light german kolsch with mango and pineapple well, it tastes fruity, it's perfect for the summer, and uh, it's very refreshing. So thank you, thank you. I'm sitting across from my friend Puffed, P-U-F-T. What's up, Puffed? Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Puffed is a unofficial worker at No Clue Brewery, and he's here for the tap takeover at Doghouse, having a good time. How many beers have you had tonight? Uh, about 30. I don't know. About 35 beers. Who knows what we're doing right now? <laughs> You have a phone in front of me. It's got a red dot on it, and I don't know what's happening, but there's also, like, this weird yellow screen staring at me. And we're about to get sniped. That is a yeah. sniper rifle oh, on God. us right now. Uh, I got here. You guys invited me to the tap takeover, and I said, let's do some quick trivia for my podcast, and you said, let's do it. I did. You oh. play trivia with me weekly, I and do. Uh, you have a drone. You like to fly around trivia night. I do. That's <laughs> This is like a sitcom character. <laughs> Puffed. He's got the drone, you know. I do. And uh, also your name is Puffed. Where does that nickname come from? Uh, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. He's is that big. really? Yeah, I thought it was a vaping thing. No, he's a big white dude that comes in and wrecks your town, and also you can't help but love him. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and plus you, you're like wearing me. one of those little sailor caps. <laughs> Usually. Right now. Also only a bow tie and a little sailor cap top. <laughs> There's no pants. It's weird. Don't worry about it. All right. I will not worry about it. These are some questions for you on Guinness World Records. I bought a book. Of Guinness World Records recently. So you have the hand up. I don't like it. I don't like it already. <laughs> I got the handbook, and I, uh, I created some questions for around a few weeks back. I don't think you got to play this one, so I'm going to grill you on these questions right now. How do you feel about Guinness World Records? Not very confident. <laughs> I'm going to drink more of this beer because I, I should probably do that. Take beer. a big swig, because here we go. Question number one. On March 27, 2017, the University of Tennessee used 4,223 students to form the world's largest human letter. What letter did they form? What do you think? Question number one, March 27, 2017, University of Tennessee used f over 4,000 students to form the world's largest human letter. What letter do you think they formed? I feel like it would be a T, you know, because it's the University of Tennessee. University of Tennessee, it is the letter T. Aye, You're one for one. Straight up guess. You ever been to Tennessee? Never. It's the volunteer state. It's the worst state. I don't want to get there. <laughs> Kidding. Just kidding. If my you're brother, from Tennessee, I'm sorry. My brother lives there. It's a pretty fun state. Number two. <laughs> Georgia's worse. Georgia is yeah. definitely worse. Yeah. Number two. Carly Lloyd is an athlete who holds three different records in what sport? Carly Lloyd 
is an athlete who holds three different Guinness World Records in what sport? I'm going to go with track and field. Track and field's a good guess, but it is actually soccer. Soccer. That's horrible. She's a soccer First of all, nobody knows athlete. Soccer. <laughs> she is uh, phenomenal at soccer. She's got three different records. I don't know the records off the top of my head. But Carly Lloyd, superstar superstar soccer player. Did you play any sports growing up? I did baseball. Mostly. Baseball. What would you play? Were you a pitcher? Catcher? No. No, no, no. Right I field. was uh, left field. Left field. Left field mostly, and then also super bomb hitter guy that just launched balls out in the outfield. Are you good at softball? Did you ever play that? No, I haven't, actually. I miss playing softball in uh, high school. We used to have some real fun games like in gym class in high school. I've heard that it's like the cool thing for adult people to actually do, but... In Chicago, they do 16-inch, and you don't need a glove. Love. It's like a really much bigger ball, and you catch it with your hands, and really? it's softer. It just sounds like your sex life. Six sure. Inch, 16 inches, hand. balls, yeah. Number, <laughs> wow, if you had 16-inch balls, you'd be in trouble. Number three, <laughs> that's some elephantitis type action. The largest Pinewood Derby track is in a town called Ashland, but in what state? Hint, it's also the state Johnny Carson grew up in. Number three, what do you think? I'm going to go with... Ashland of what state? Number three. Minnesota. Ashland, Minnesota. That's a great guess. Johnny Carson did not grow up there. He grew up in Nebraska. Ashland, Nebraska. And uh, that's where they have the largest Pinewood Derby track. Did you ever build one of those cars for, like, Boy Scouts? I built a billion of those. Really? Were you a Boy Scout? I actually was, yeah. More Boy Scouting, less sporting. Pretty much. And the the ladies don't care about Boy Scouts. The ladies don't care for Boy Scouts? Do you think, (laughs) has anyone's ever gotten laid from being a Boy Scout? No. Like, eh, I'm an eagle. Never. Eagle Scout. Nope. I know many Eagle Scouts. None of them have ever been laid. Yeah, (laughs) sorry. Can't drop that line. If you're an Eagle Scout out there and you've been laid, let us know because Yeah, let me know. Shoot me a message. (laughs) We want to know your secrets. Number four. In September 2016 at BrickFest Live, the world's largest Lego mosaic was made of which Star Wars character? Number four. Which Star Wars character? BrickFest 2016. I've and got two uh, answers right now, and I'm going to go with Yoda because Yoda's Yoda Yoda favorite. is a great guess, but incorrect. I'm going to give you a second guess. <laughs> was it Boba Fett? It was not Boba Fett. A ah, third guess. Jo- Jabba the Hutt. Jobba the Hutt. Jo- jo- Jehovah the Witness the Hutt. Uh, it was, it was actually that. Darth Vader. Darth really? Vader, yeah. Largest Lego mosaic of Darth Vader. Why would people do that? He's like, well, well he black. is, you know. Like, you could have made so many more colors. Like, uh, you could that is, somebody that's else. That's right. a good point for mosaic. Oh, that's, no. maybe, that, maybe that's easier. It somehow. definitely was easier because they chose black. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Number They're five, lazy. Cody Jones, Tyler Tony, uh, Garrett Hilbert, and Corey and Kobe Cotton hold eight football-related Guinness World Records. What is the name of their group? Number five, Cody Jones, Tyler Jeez. Tony, Garrett Hilbert, Corey, and Kobe Cotton had eight, bo- eight football-related world records. What is their group called? Like a group? Not even a team. It's a group? They had a famous YouTube channel that turned into a TV show. Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> All right, hold on. Now you're uh, talking. Dude Perfect. It is Dude Perfect. Nice job. All I said was YouTube, and you got it. Yeah, because... Dude Perfect. That's like a huge thing. They're not actual football people. That's right, but isn't it weird? They they have have world records for tricks. world records for football tricks. I got really lucky, and the company I worked for last year called Super Jacket, who does Ridiculousness and Fantasy Factory and Robin Big, they also produced the Dude Perfect show for Nickelodeon, and they had an episode where the dudes learned how to be pro wrestlers. And they said, does anybody know some of the terminology for these moves? Because, like, the editors yeah. had to do, like, a voiceover track where they were like, all right, he's giving him a suplex and stuff like that. So I said, I do, and I'd love to do the voiceover. And they said, you're hired. Nice. <laughs> and by hired, I just had to go to another floor of our building. <laughs> and uh, But I got to record it, and I was like, uh, you know, like... Uh, Oh, these dude perfect boys are going great. Like, it was like over the top. Really over the yeah, top. Over the top. Super very wrestler. Oh, it was so much fun. Yeah. I got to uh, channel my inner Jim Ross, if you know Jim Ross. Oh, yeah. Number six at 20, what actor is the youngest to play the title role in a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie? That guy that just drove by, if you could hear that. Big ass American flag on a Super pickup truck. truck. Yeah. It's weird for this area. You but never, it's a you very never. Very loud. It's not like we a are in an upscale pipe. mall parking lot. It's not a truck pipe though. It wasn't deep and loud. It was very high pitched, like a Honda. Yeah. Number anyways, six I'm at twenty, go. youngest actor in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in a title role. I feel like it's Tom Holland. Uh, Tom Holland is correct. Is he it? is Spider Man. Spider Man. I love Spider Man Homecoming. Yeah. Did you? I love that. And I did not was... expect to like it. I saw it like a year after it came out, and I was like, whatever. But I loved it. Also, though, like, come on. 
like he was perfect when they went against each other in Civil War and like yeah showed up out of oh, nowhere. Oh, uh, Avengers Infinity War when yeah. he has the costume oh, with the with the, with the spider legs yeah, and he so like great. defied. And then nothing happened to him at all at the end. Nope, nope. Swear. Nobody nothing ever happened. did anything ever. After nope. that. Yeah. I fine. I'm a big fan of Michael <laughs> Keaton going. Uh, hey, he, in that movie he's like, I will totally kill you all the time. <laughs> like, <laughs> In his like creepy Michael Keaton way, yeah. when you realize Michael Keaton is what's the his girlfriend's dad or whatever. Stop talking about it. And he's like, yeah, this came out like, two, two years ago. But he goes, uh, <laughs> he's like, hey Pete, like I'll kill you. Like I love, like I just loved, like it was great. <laughs> number eight. Oh wait, number seven. In 2015, Otto the skateboarding dog helped celebrate Guinness World Record Day. What type of dog is that dog? He is an English pit, or English bulldog. He is a bulldog, yeah. probably an English one. Not that one was of the, a motorcycle. That was a motorcycle. Giant truck. What's going on? It was Definitely an, an English truck, English bulldog, not one of those Croatian bulldogs you hear so much those about. Those are really pretty dogs. Stop it. Number eight, located in southwestern Brazil. The Panth, uh, Pantanel, Pantanel? I think it's Pantanel, is the world's largest 58,000 square mile what? Number eight, located in southwestern Brazil. The Pantanel is the world's largest 58,000 square mile what? What do you think it is? National Preserve. I have no idea. That's a good guess. It is a it is swamp. Oh, swamp. Geez. So you're close. Yeah, almost. Swamps are kind of preserved, I guess. Number nine. There's not as many things in preserves. Though. There you go. Of all the bears in the world, which bear holds the record for most restrictive diet? So when you think of bears, there's certain bears that can polar only bear. eat, like, one polar thing. Polar. You think it's polar bear? Yeah, what do you polar. think the diet consists of? Mostly meat because... Oh, shit. The answer is pandas, oh, and no. the uh, thing they eat most is 99% yeah. bamboo yeah. shoots. Panda. Bamboo shoots. Oh, panda. He was make, making I'm a hand motion panda and face. I don't know. <laughs> you can't see him online. I, I'm sorry, everybody, but he was actually making a panda face with a bamboo shoot in his mouth. Morgan from No Clue was trying to help you out. Number 10, Robert Wadlow still holds the record for world's blank man. Tallest. It is tallest. Nice job. That guy was real really tall. Good. He died young. Some of those tall guys die young. They have to. He was one of them. They ain't got uh, no and the bonus, they ain't, he ain't, did you say, <laughs> they ain't got the innards. They ain't got yeah. no innards. They too tall for them, Lieutenant Dan. That is good science. Like, <laughs> hey, why are those tall guys dying young? Ain't got the innards. They stretch too thin. Number 11, last question for Guinness World Records for two points. Shen Zayoshi holds the record for 10 stacked balls of a certain type. What type of balls were they? Bowling no. ball. They were bowling balls. Ah, two point points. You got a really good score. I think you only missed three. That's I'm gonna say three, good three or four out of twelve. You you got at least seven or eight right. Well, we I'm gonna go high five to, you. We can go back to the tape for those, but either way, go that back was to the tape. Puffed, you nailed it. Great job on the Guinness World Records. Where can people find you online if they want to see some of your drone videos? Uh, the Traveler has come. At the Traveler has come. You can check it out if you want to get there. The Traveler has come. He shot some fun drone footage for me. Thanks, Puffed. Enjoy the rest of your night puffing away and drinking away. I love you, man. Love you. Boom, there it is. How'd you do against Puffed in Guinness World Record Trivia? Hope you did pretty good. If you wrote down your answers on a nice little post-it note or a note card or a piece of paper, take a picture, send them to me at Ryan Buds. I always like seeing those. And uh, I get a few of those every single week, especially for my friends Fianna and Casey. So thanks for doing that, guys. Special thanks to all my Patreon subscribers supporting this show each and every day with their dollar donations per month over on patreon.com slash trivia with buds. It is the end of the month, end of July. So uh, August is picking up here in just a few days. And I will be sending out some amazing new rewards like coloring pages from the 80s. That's right. We've got uh, collectible trading cards and wax packs from the 80s and 90s. We've got new pop culture art squares you haven't seen before. And we've got a t-shirt for our t-shirt of the month club. So check out all those different rewards at patreon.com slash trivia with buds for all your trivia needs go to trivia with buds.com click on location see where you can play live every week check out sample questions videos of me on location at places like the la comic-con last fall and a bunch of other fun stuff over there if you have a party coming up i'd love to host some trivia for your workplace for your graduation party for your wedding cocktail hour i've done it all and i'd love to do your event very soon if you're going to be in virginia beach this uh next upcoming weekend august 3rd or 
4th, I'll be in town, Virginia Beach, Virginia, doing some shows. Friday night, August 3rd, I will be at The Shack, which is a really big place. Uh, it's also known as Festival on 8th, Festival on 8th Street. Check that out for Disney, Marvel, Star Wars trivia from 7 to 10 p.m. I'll be there at The Shack. Uh, August 3rd, Friday, August 3rd at the Shack in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Tickets available on my website right at the top. Click the banner that says Virginia Beach. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for telling a friend. We'll see you next time for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers. 